All right, lads, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there seems to be a lot of confusion about peace conferences, okay? And I'm going to give you a full breakdown on peace conferences and how they work, and uh, hopefully I can create some nice peace conferences for you guys. Strap yourself in. We're about to dive into the world of peace conferences, and maybe you'll understand it, maybe you won't. And uh, as a side note, the recent patch, which was released last week, uh, has fixed the issue with some of the peace conference issues, such as the excessive border guard, one nation getting puppeted five times, um, as well as the issue where you didn't have enough points to take out the entirety of the country. As far as I'm aware, and from my testing, that has been fixed. So yay on that part. Anyway, let's talk about the peace conferences. So let's go with a simple peace conference now. It's going to be a major power annexing a minor power, and I'm just going to basically just cheat. Occupy paint? Yeah, occupy paint. Oh, paint the map, my favorite color. There we go. We are completely annexed. So let's just go through the peace conferences and just show what we're looking at right now. So let's just focus on the nations who are the victors that what can make demands. In this case, it's just Italy on the right-hand side. And you can see the amount of points that we've acquired from this war, which is 400 points. For the most part, it doesn't really matter because we're the only combatant. We're the only ones going to be making demands in this peace conference. All right. Now, what are the possible demands? If we click on the left-hand side here under state take state control, they're the possible states that we can take control of. Individually clicking them to show what flags appear and what nation we're actually taking. Now, if we want a straightforward peace conference, we can just hit select all. Basically, if you can see here, to take states to annex them and then hit submit demands then exit the peace conference. But of course, we want to do something a little bit more complex than that. So we're going to hit reset in the bottom left-hand corner. So let's do something a little bit more complex. Let's do practically everything we can do to Ethiopia. So first of all, we are going to create a different government. So change government means you are creating an independent state that matches the ideology of my country. It's going to be a little bit strange, this one, but I'm going to make it here along these three nations. I'm going to create some kind of weird buffer state between British colonies and Italian colonies. And that's the only change I want to make there, okay? Now, for the most part, we could hit submit demands and we could move on to the next turn. You can see the turn here. But if you think about it, it doesn't really matter because I am the only victor that is making demands in this peace conference. So in this circumstance, what we can do now is make some other demands. We're going to do some weird stuff. So we're also going to create a puppet state. So the rest of Ethiopia will be a puppet state. So instead of creating a new independent country that matches our ideology, we're going to move from change government to create a puppet state, all right? Then we can just click on the States, and that will make a different independent nation that is a puppet of Italy, another Ethiopia that's independent, right? But also, we have additional demands we can do on top of it. So once you click this, you're creating a puppet state. And then when you click on this, you're doing additional demands on top of the puppet state. So it's going to be a puppet state that you're going to specifically say, this is a demilitarized zone. This is two. This is two, and this is two. So we've done two things. We've specifically said these states will be an independent puppet nation with the master that is Italy. Secondly, we've specifically stated that these states will be a demilitarized zone. We're not done yet. I'm going to specifically ask for resource rights of this nation and this nation. So we're doing so many different things here. Remember, it's still saying it's a puppet state of Italy, but specifically saying these states are going to be demilitarized. These two, we're going to take the resources from from them. And this one at the top is going to be demilitarized too. We're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet. War reparations. These two states can be war reparations. Remember what we're doing, just to recap. This is a puppet state. We've created a puppet state, but with an additional demand underneath it of taking their civilian factories. And I can take two civilian factories from these two states. We're not done yet. So now we're going to click on war reparations and we we'll see if there are any states left that we can take. And there is one. So what would happen here is this would be an independent nation, a buffer state that would have our ideology, but would not be a puppet. So it would be independent. Now we would have another puppet state that consists of these yellow states that would be a puppet state of Italy, but with also some extra additional demands underneath it as well. Demilitarization, resource rights, and war reparations for civilian factories. However, this one state here, I've not made any demands for it. Does anyone know what you think might happen here? Let's find out. Hit some man, sit, submit demands, the bottom right, and then confirm and exit. And let's see what we've created. This is it. Welcome to Border Gore. But this was intentional. I wanted to make this. So Ethiopian Empire, this buffer state here I've created. It's a fascist state. It may matches my ideology it is a fascist kingdom and this is it it's done exactly what i wanted and it's an independent nation too next up we specifically said we wanted to create a puppet state of ethiopia owned by the overlord of ethiopia of, of italy the overlord of italy and this is the boyo here he's a financial expert apparently and there you go the, the government of ethiopia a puppet state of italy and we specifically said a few things we said these three states oh i've got map painter turned on <laughs> 
Uh, so we said that these three states are going to be demilitarized and they are demilitarized. And this northern state is also demilitarized. And then we also said the resource rights of the rubber to the south will be given directly to Italy. They have done that. And then also we specifically said that the two civilian factories here and here will be handed as war reparations to Italy. And if we hover over the factories, we can see that one of them has been given. I think what happens is whenever a nation gets annexed, whole, half of the factories are removed. So strangely, in the peace conference, there was only really one civilian factory to choose from, and that's the one that's being given to Italy. So it looks like this one here has been erased, but this one here is still intact. Makes sense. And there was one final thing we did. There was one piece of land that we did not make demands for, and that has ended up being an independent Ethiopia. The previous Ethiopia we've just defeated as an independent state in this one location. We have created three Ethiopias. Yay! Now, of course, this is not ideal, is it? You can create these kind of wacky scenarios if you want to. But of course, we don't want to create wacky scenarios. We want to create actual realistic scenarios. So in this case, let's hop all the way back to the main menu. And let's do that peace conference one more time but with a different nation taking out a major power. So in this case, we'll go single player. We'll go as Germany. Boom! We have capitulated the UK. And we are the only ones of Germany to make demands. And we have 6,645 contribution points to use. I've just realized my face is in the way. You can actually see uh, the pass button in the bottom right. It's interesting how the buttons are now. Are like We've got the top left for demands, bottom left for reset, bottom right for passing and submitting demands, and then top right to confirm. They've moved the buttons as far away as possible so you don't accidentally hit the wrong button, which is kind of smart if you think about it. Anyway, uh, let's, make, let's do some interesting things. So let's say initially we're going to like take states. So first of all, we're going to make demands by directly owning the land in the south of Britain. Great. That's perfect. Remember, we're the only one making demands here, so we can make all our demands simultaneously. We don't have to, when we've used all our points up, hit submit hit submit demands. We are basically going to show one with multiple demands in a little while. So just hold on to your butts. Okay, we'll get there. Next thing we want to do is we want to create a puppet state of Scotland. So we have to go into puppets, find Scotland, which is a lot of them because there you go, Scotland. And we basically say that all these core states will be a part of Scotland. So that's our second demand. Then we're going to change government of the UK and give them all this land. Specifically also say we're going to make this a demilitarized zone. Then we're also say that we want all war reparations for this location. And we're specifically going to dismantle their industry. So we're making initial demands and extra demands on top of it. And you know what? Let's top it off as well. Let's create a puppet state of Northern Ireland. You know what? No, I'll take a light. We're actually going to just take Northern Ireland. Here we go. And then this is what we've created now. What I'm going to do is hit submit demands here to end my turn. Now, this would make more sense if there was multiple people making demands. But in this case, there isn't. So submit. Boom, this is, you see what we've created now. And one extra little thing here that's really important is that in the top right now, we have beneficiaries. And now you can actually see Scotland. With this, you see your other puppet states as well. Anyway, another option of other bits and pieces we can do as well. We can liberate nations. If you click liberate, you create an independent nation. So in this case, we'll create, I don't know, Israel. Boom, submit demands. And now you've got an independent Israel. Uh, this will be their own ideology. It will more likely be non-aligned. And uh, we'll, you can work with that nation in the future if you want to, but you don't have to. This is also beneficial because it also reduces world tension as well. Does it actually show that? The number did change there, but it didn't increase or decrease. That's try releasing a large nation like Sudan. Yeah, it does. You can see now. So when I make demands, you can see the world tension decreases because I'm releasing a lot of states. You see world tension now is a net loss of world tension from this peace conference. So this is something you would do if you wanted to reduce world tension. Well, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that really because more nations tend to lag the game. So I don't know why you would do that. Now, what else can we do? We can also take the entirety of the Navy of Britain too. So you click take Navy and then basically select the ships. You can select each one of these as capital ships. And every time you select one of these, not only will you gain the capital ship, but you also gain 3% of their screening ships as well. So it can be like, can all be evenly shared up among the victors in this case. So in this case, we'll just select all and submit. Oh, that actually generates world tension, stealing a navy. Wow, that's interesting. And I've taken the entirety of the navy. We'll hit confirm and exit now. Even though there could be more demands that we make, this is what we've done. So as you can see, we've occupied the south of uh, Britain directly under our land and it will gain resistance and compliance. We created a change government independent nation here. It's got our ideology and also it's a demilitarized zone between the states that connect the southern part of Britain. Uh, also, the resources. So I've demilitarized their industry too. So you can see they've got zero military factories. And I believe we're getting war reparations too. Yeah, five civilian factories there. And also, top it off as well, Scotland is a puppet of Germany. Caledonia. Ooh, scary. And of course, some of the nations we've liberated, we've got Israel here. 
Democratic Israel, Sudan, and Yemen. All right, well, you've not come here for the easy peace conference. Then. Let's do more of a tricky peace conference. Well, let's say the Axis annex the UK and all the allies, and you're left with a situation where Italy and Germany need to make demands separately in the peace conference. Alrighty then, peace conference time, lads. The Axis have won in 1940. Let's just summarize what we're looking at right now, and then we can see where we go from here. First of all, Italy has more contribution, 2,774 points, compared to Germany's 2,456. Mussolini well and truly has been buffed with this new expansion. So let's make a bunch of demands. So let's say I want to form Greater Italy. So I'm going to need Savoy, I'm going to need Corsica, I'm going to need Malta, and I'm going to need Cyprus. I also would like some of the overseas possessions as well. So one thing you've noticed now is a few areas of the map have disappeared uh, that I can select. And the reason why they disappeared is because I don't have enough points. There's a limited amount of points because there are new two people now in this peace conference that can make demands. You can see the amount of points that I've got left here, 1,380, which I started with 2,704. So we'll be more ambitious. We'll say basically take parts of Africa here, and then we'll take, let's say, Egypt and the Levant and Palestine. There you go. And you can see now the options for our demands is getting smaller and smaller because the ones we can actually take because we've not got enough points. Now we have absolutely zero points. So just to summarize, we basically said take all of North Africa, take all of the bordering states around Italy, also pushing into the Congo. I simultaneously also said I want to create a puppet state in the south of France and take the resources directly from them. And now I hit submit. This is where things get a little bit complex. Boom, submit. Okay, so what's happened now is a bunch of demands from Germany conflict with my demands. So, and there's quite a few of them. Oh, there's actually 13 of them. There's not that many. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to select the ones I'm going to forfeit. What forfeiting means is the points that I invested into this will be given back to me. However, if Germany wants to persist for that demand, they have to pay more for it. So the way it works is the more times that you can test over one state, the more the cost goes up. So there could be some weird scenario where two nations are vying for one location and one state and spending all the points on it. You you could uh, be in a situation where another nation might be gobbling up the world because they're fighting over this one specific demand. Anyway, I'm going to select these ones. Alexandria. Uh, I'm not interested in that. And I'm going to basically forfeit those ones. So I basically just said to Germany, you can have them, but you're going to have to pay a little bit extra war score contribution for those specific ones. But these ones I'm going to specifically fight for. And I'll hit demand for that. And it's going to cost us 293 points for that. This round, we have 3,329. So we've got a lot of points. We've spent them. Now we can continue to make our demands. So for the areas that have not already been taken, the ones that haven't got red flags on them, they're not getting contested. I can specifically say that I want those. Submit demands. Okay, so here we go again. Again, these four areas, they're still contesting them. Oh, they actually contest for Qatar. I actually don't care about Qatar and Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. And, uh, but I will still continue to make demands for this. As you can see, the cost for this keeps going up higher and higher and higher. Demand. Okay, then we continue what we're doing. If you think about it, if you take their resources, you don't have to pay for them, do you? Ooh. Ooh, so I'll take that, that and that. And then we're done. We have got 67 points, so we'll submit demands. Okay, so what we got now. So they're still contesting for French, that French land that we wanted to change the government of. I'm still going to submit my demands for that one. This region, they'd like to puppet the Raj, and they want Cylon. I think I'm going to forfeit Cylon, and they also want Burma. Do you know what? You can have Burma as well. But I'm going to continue my demand for that specific region of the British Raj. All right, then we continue the peace conference. In this case, we're going to go... Ask for rights, 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 rights. I suppose I can also do them inside of these regions, I guess. Because, But am I, am I making demands on top of demands here? That's interesting. I don't know. This is a point where it gets a little bit weird. We've got so many points left over. But now we can. what we can do is jump into here and look for areas that have not made demands. So you can see that these flags here, they've all been demanded and taken by Germany. So we could scroll down and look for stuff that's not already been taken. So we'll go for that. Free France has all been taken. It'd be kind of nice if there was a tick box here that just said remove stuff that's already been taken. It seems strange to me that you can go over stuff that's already been taken, which is just really weird. I forgot to click this one. Did I click? forget to click this one? I think I can actually contest this one a, a, another month if I reselect it. So I think I might actually do that now I think about it. I'll contest it for a further month, even though it's already been taken. I think that's really not a very cost-effective thing to do, though. So they still want this region. They're still combating it. See, the price rate keeps going up. Singapore... Now nah, I want that VAR. Oh, that's the area that we're combating here, isn't it? Yep. Press our demands, select all, forfeit those ones. We've got 360, 81 points. <laughs> so many things to go for here. South Africa. You take these areas here. 
Okay, I think I don't think there's anything else I can put points into right now. This this peace conference desperately needs a toggle box to remove anything that's already been made demands on. At this point, I think what's happened now is everything has been taken, which is a little bit confusing and a little bit annoying way because it has to go through all of these and just confirm that they've been taken, which is just a little bit annoying. Yeah, everything's been set, so we just continue to submit our demands. So at this point, because there's only two combatants left and two countries making demands. The one that has the most points is going to be the one that takes this final land. Submit again, submit. And it's going to reach a situation that the only time people can take the remaining states are the ones that have got points remaining. All right, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to take now. Once again, I'll say it again. I said it once and I'll say it again, but this desperately needs a toggle button that just removes stuff that's already been taken. Anyway, confirm and exit. Let's see if we get what we want. Let's have a look. So we've got everything we wanted here. We have access to the rights for this, Italian Malaya and Italian East Indies, and we have access to all the resources too, which is really interesting. Only a set amount can be delivered because they've not got convoys. That's really interesting. You see Germany's basically annexed all of Australia and Java, taken most of West Africa as well. Uh, Germany take Egypt. They wanted Egypt for some reason. Um, uh, we've got Tunisia. We got the islands that we demanded, uh, and we created our puppet state. Now, this has not worked out how I thought it would. This has not worked out how I thought it would. Interesting. So we got the resources. Oh, I know. No, I messed up. I messed up. I think what's happened is with this nation, I changed government. But with this nation, I request a puppet and I, f I must have just hit the wrong button. So I'm my bad there, guys. My bad. From France too. I like to take advantage of some of the resources. So we're going to go for change government. Specifically say add resource rights. Take that off. Then we'll expand the puppet state further. But everything else is done exactly how I thought it would do. And it was surprising Every time you made demands, how well it worked out. Oh, and I messed up too. I messed up. I must have had the button for puppet selected when I took this land. And I thought I was actually taking the territory, but not. I've actually taken a puppet of those nations. It's really easy. This is one issue that the devs could work on here, is make it a little bit clearer what button is selected, whether you click the puppet one or the annexed territory one, because it's, 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 it's not actually that clear. But overall, guys, this is the Peace Conference in action. And I think for the most part, if you know what the buttons do and you be careful with each of your clicks, I think you can make the right Peace Conference. But it clearly shows, because in this case, I made a mistake here, and I also made a mistake here. And I've done like 10 Peace Conferences now, so it's so easy to make those mistakes. And it is frustrating to create a puppet state when you want to annex it as well. But overall, guys, I think that was actually a really, really good Peace Conference. It feels efficient to me just to take lots of land in Peace Conferences over trying to create fat, funky puppet states and stuff. It just feels like the easier option is just to annex loads and loads of land because it looks like in this circumstance that germany oh god <laughs> i think i might have done this did i do this no they've done this <laughs> what have you done <laughs> They've balkanized Canada. I bet you guys wasn't even I bet you guys weren't even aware you could even do that. They balkanized the Canadians. <laughs> I wonder if they've done this because I was saying that I wanted land and the AI has got really confused whether it wants to change state, puppet, or annex. It's got really <laughs> confused. This is art. This is beautiful. Recent pack has fixed some of the peace conference issues, such as the excessive border gore. <laughs> Good times. Good actual times. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, why not try this one? This one here. This one here. Give it a try. Go on. Oh, this one. This is the next video you should click. Here.